everybody, welcome back to the Graveyard Traveler. I'm Troy, your host as usual. Today, another cemetery I've returned to here in Cambridge City, Indiana, called Riverside Cemetery. It's a lot of historical places. I already filmed that last year, so I uh, don't remember what episode, but it's in the beginning. A blessing. This time, I'm here to see all the individuals that are buried here and interred. So join me as I take another trip, second tour around Riverside Cemetery. May we get this tour started? Shall we? Well, this is the headstone of the Gru, William and Elizabeth, or El Elizabeth. William was born in 1913. He passed away in 1974. And his wife, El Elizabeth, passed, born in 1917, passed away in 1989. All the trinkets and two little squirrels on each side. Somebody still remembers them. William Lee Thompson. There's a picture of him, I guess him in his car. Uh, born July 4th, 1934. Passed, passed away September 22nd, 2020. Husband of Patsy. Son, brother, father, stepfather, uncle, grandfather, and great grandfather. Nope. Oh, Thompson and all his children. Well, this is the Clunts. Delmar Sr. and Joyce. Delmar, 1943 to 2020 and his wife Joyce 1942 to 2002. Both married April 21st, 1962. And this is the grave of Mir, Thelma, or a man they called her, and Norbert. There's Norbert's picture, but Thelma doesn't have one. Uh, Thelma was born on May 25th, 1924. She passed away August the 6th, uh, 2014. Norbert, born October 18th, 1925, he passed away February 13th, 1985. And they were both married April 22nd, 1950. Yeah, her, uh, her picture's gone. Oh, look at this headstone. This is Roy E. Coons, 1903 to 1990. Dog. Well, this is the resting place of Chester Royals Sr. They called him Bob. December 20th, 1953 to January 14th, 1994. Of course, it's kind of rubbed out. He did pass in 1994, so. Yeah, I like the motorcycle edging on it. Yeah, look at this uh, headstone. This is Walter and John. Eileen's still with us. Walter, 1929 to 2008. And John, 1965 to 1985. Now, look at that. Santa Claus on a tractor, and a sleeping cow. Okay, I think this is a recent one, but uh, this is the Boyd headstone with James R. They call him Booze and one to him. James born February 5th, 1933. He passed away November 28, 2006, and his wife January 26, 1938. He recently passed away July 1st, 2022. Their parents of Teresa James. Teresa and James, and no farewell, no farewell words were spoken, no time to say goodbye, you were gone, before we knew it, and only God knows why. Christopher Lee Huntsman Hemsley, uh, March 27, 1965 to December 22nd, 1982. Passed away young. Really good. Over here is Nancy Brown, September 24, 1968 to December 10th, 2014. I don't know if that's a sister. Their mother's over to the right, but they're on the back of this headstone. Uh, you know, feel free to pause this and read everything on here because uh, I'm not going to read all this. This is quite a accomplishment for Chris on the front end there in this picture. A lot of accomplishments. Yeah, it truly, this is one big monument headstone rock. Brower, James C. and Joyce. James born 1933, passed away 2016. His wife, 1935 to 2019. They were married for 60 long years. And look at the, all the rocks. It's a foul Brower. 
on one side there. No, it's on the back. No, no, the back is a big rock. But it's unique. I like it. Well, this one's uh, Conley, Ben O, and Selby. Selby, I guess. And his name is Casey, and he's gone fishing. Uh, he was born October 16th, 1928. He passed away on September 10th, 1997. She, born November 16th, 1928, passed away July 4th, 2018. They were both married July 14th, 1956. I'm back. There's a poem. It says, Miss me, but let me go when I come to the end of the road and the sun has set for me. I want no rights in a gloom-filled room. Why cry for a soul set free? Miss me a little, but not too long. And not with that head bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey that we all must take, and each must go alone. It's all a part of the master's plan, a step on the road to home. I love, love son, brother, daddy to Billy Joe. Troy Richard Davis. January 26, 1988 to May 4th, 2020. That's a decoration. I like that headstone. Man, uh, he's hitting the skull dipper. Like snuff. That is a. Let's see what's on the back. Huh? It just says Davis, Christ has come counting on you. Uh, Nathan Paul Close. November 5th, 1980 to October 5th, 1997. Forever with a smile. I think he was a lager drinker. Nice fire on the back. It's close. Parents Tim and Joe, brothers Brent and Dustin. Don Marie Weston and Francis Swanson. Don born July 14, 1967, and January 21st, 2013, and Francis August 14, 1948, to August 20th, 2013. I think. There's a picture of him. I like the way they decorated it. Some lights on each side for a little nation, I think. Alright, Aaron Randall Lindbergh. January 2nd, 1974 to August 13th, 2012. It's a nice crystal motorcycle. On the back. Picture him. It says the father of Sophia Grace. Holly Davidson Dooner. Cheese. God's hands, Julianne Lindbergh, February 15, 1959, January 11, 2016. Butterflies on back. Picture of Beautiful woman. Oh, Eileen Elliott, April 5th, 1947 to November 19, 2019. That must be her whole family. Really a decorated ring on the flower and that little another light. They got lights up too. It says the mother of Russell, Jimmy, Rachel, Cecil, Ralph, and Monica. That must have been them on the front. Uh, Kellyanne McKee Marshall, July 8, 1970 to January 11th, 2010. Love you, ditto. On the back. It's her. I guess one of their sister. Daughter of Larry and Pam, sister of Amanda. Says, why did she have to go so young? I just don't know why. Things happen half the time without reason, without rhyme. Lovely, sweet young woman, daughter, wife, and mother. This big headstone is, uh, I guess, Topham. That's Larry W. Jeffrey Jr., December 4th, 1964 to February 28th, 2017. Loving mother, Martha A. Tooney. February 23rd, 1946 to March 15th, 2022. And this must be Michael W. Jeffries. July 4th, 1967 to January 2nd, 2007. It's a big monument. I guess the sons and the mother are both buried here. Brandon Todd Fink, June 10th, 1984 to April 9th, 2013. Father of Jaden, son, brother, and friend. Half your time from the sun was left. So your wings were ready, but my heart was not. Back. This is Frank. Hugging the sun always on our mind, forever in our hearts. P.S. I love you. Lynn M. Bowman Gibson, November 22nd, 1963 to September 14th, 
2015 or 16 hours. This is the wife of Alan, loving mother of Chelsea and Jacob, missing you, mom, Lisa, and Bobby. Well, this interesting looking headstone is Megan Jean Ridden. August 4th, 1983 to November 16th, 1999. Daughter to Randy and Leslie, sister, sister of Anna, Emily, and Joe. That is unique. It's, it's like a finch type. The seashells on top. Oh, this one's Ben Maroon. January 31st, 1981. Passed away June 27th, 1998. We miss you, Ben. Number 22, I guess. In the back. And there's a picture of him. It says, And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Jamie Neal Cardigan, May 2nd, 1982, oh, August 30th, 2007. There's a picture of him. And a picture of his mustache. Let's see if he's back. Oh, yeah. Picture of Homer Simpson something unpredictable but in the end is right i hope you had the time of your life now let's pick this up that's the wind blew it over yep wind probably did as long as the is there we go well cheryl ann longfellow may 4th 1960 to september 10th 2020 look at all the lights i'm gonna make sure they see her group tonight on the back, it's a little poem. It says, A nurse's prayer. Dear Lord, as I comfort and care for my patients each day, be there with me, I do pray. May my words kind, for it means so much, and place in my hands a healing touch. In each choice I make, give me wisdom ahead, and let your love shine in all that I do. Everett Scott Miller, December 5th, 2017, unfortunately, just December 10th, 2017. Those we have held in our arms for a little while, we hold in our hearts forever. Let's get done fixing this flag to Russell Dwayne Holler. PFC U.S. Army, Vietnam, October 6, 1955 to January 24, 2020. His wife, Nancy, still not still with us, but I had to fix this flag for him. So, PFC, Haler, Ua. This is Edward M. Bull. February 25th, 1960 to December 16th, 2018. Beloved son, father, and grandfather. Until we meet again. His father is Shannon, Joseph, Joshua, and Zach. Uh, Cody, Shane Steele. Uh, May 13th, 1991. April 5th, 2022. Gone but not forgotten. He's got his stone for Nice cross. Uh, this is Cody Steele. Check this out. It's a bowling pin headstone. Rock. Robert Allen Jacobs, January 25th, 1991 and May 13th, 2017. Let me guess. He's a bowler. There's a bowling ball right there next to the face. Bowling ball. Luella I. Chapman, January 21st, 1940 to November 13th, 2008. It's a bitch. It's done. Uh, this one's Mommy's Angel. Bailey Elizabeth, December 26, 1997, May 19, 2010. Lexa Daly and Callie's sister, Smith. Look at all the sand prints, footprints, ladybugs. Same thing on the back. Don't cry because I'm gone. Smile because I was here. I think of you and miss you every day. I love you, Mommy. It says, Son, James R. Herrick. 1954, 1979, it says dad, 54, 79. Look at the I like the size of this monument. Ernest and Coyota Coyota. He was born March 12, 1919, passed away June 21st, 1998. Chief, March 21st, 1923, and lived to July 27th, 2020. They were both married March 8th, 1941. It's a huge monument. Headstone type of monument. Uh, it just says, Death leaves a heartache no one can heal. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. Parents of Teeny and Sheila. And Ernest was a private in the U.S. Army during World War II. Minnie Randall Irvin, 
February 22nd, 2007. Daughter of Mark and Amy. I'm sad. Now they decorated with a little teddy bear and a wind fan there. Next to her, um, here's her here's her dad, Mark R. Irvin. October 25th, 1951 to September 27th, 2014, teacher and father. Yeah, that's her dad. Back. Says Irvin. Burner. Paul Howard and Shirley Jean. Paul, they call him Snowball. January 7th, 1928, passed away September 9th, 2009. Over here. Shirley. June 20th, 1930, to September 29th, 2009. Man. Well, there's a picture of them when they first got together, married, and them um, later on. They both, she died 10 days, what was it, 20 days after him. I said, well, if tears can build a bridge, the stairway, and memories of Lane, I'll walk right up and have heaven and take you back home again. She joined him. They were both married on March 31st, 1947. Back of their headstone, them with their two children, loving parents of Loretta Renee and Pauletta Ray. Burner. That is a nice looking mural. All right, I found my Marine, first Marine, Nicholas Pierre. October 22nd, 1904, he passed away November 25th, 2020. Uh, his wife Arlene and married July 11, January 11, 1964. This is his side of the grave. Uh, he would go up an anchor. An American flag. He's also a veteran, obviously. On the back, he was a Lance Corporal, U.S. Marine Corps. Yeah, so was I. When I came out. You know what? I'm not going to film his wife's name, but I will put flag. On his grave, I'll put it right here. All right, so final Lance Corporal Pierre Semper Fi. James L. Jr. Hall, April 14, 1943 to June 14, 2018. There must be him fishing. Nice monument there. Back. Hall, father of Tim and Bobby, Paul Paul Wacko, Pat Jim, grandfather of Timothy Taylor, Caitlin Ashley, great grandfather of. Aviana, Kate, and Gage, Papa Wacko, and Pap Jim. Kathleen A. Hicks Davidson, August 14, 1942, passed away November 3rd, 2002. Loving mother of Barbara Edward, Elizabeth, and Mary Rose. And on each side of her headstone is two silver uh, flower pots. Right back. Oh. Yet I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Grave of Elijah Thomas M. Moore. Summer 20th to the 21st, 1999. Son of Cynthia and Brian. Come yet not forgotten, although we are apart, your spirit lives in with me forever in my heart. Decorated. Then what up? 26, 24, 25 years ago. All the cars around. It's a sad thing to see. And no matter what cemetery you go to, it's a sad thing to see. Check this big rock out with a, a grave in there. It says William A. Gritz, 1857 to 1939. Emma K. Gritz, 1858 to 1915. Wow. It's right under a tree. When it moves in the summertime, this is a great shade. It's a great place to put a big rock headstone. I like it. I like the shape of that too. All right, I was here last year. It was locked. I wonder if it's still locked. Let's find out. Yep, still locked. It says dedicated to the memory of those who served their country with honor in her great wars. All right, thank you for joining me on this latest cemetery tour here at a return trip to Cambridge City's Riverside Cemetery. To everybody here in the past and the present rest in peace see you on the next video and all by the way take care of yourself and do take care of your loved ones and i will see you on the next cemetery tour bye